friend of mine called and said he was having trouble working on a radio. So I went over there and took my meter and I took this little transistor radio. Public housing community. Which works just fine. Awesome. And I used this to determine if the oscillator was oscillating. And I've already done a video on that, which I'll put a link to that in this video. And the oscillator was oscillating. And also, uh, in the room with that radio, there's a computer and a printer and, um, of course, a monitor. And they were all off. And this radio played just fine besides being able to, to detect if the oscillator was oscillating in that radio. So I put this on the oscillator and put it on frequency and just to see what the range was that we were getting when we went up and down the dial because I thought well, maybe the radio is on the wrong band. It definitely sounded like it was trying to work, but just couldn't for some reason. And that's where we pick up the story. We've got the radio with the problem on the workbench, and I've got my meter hooked up to the small variable capacitor, which is for the oscillator. And I'm going to turn the dial up and down all the way to see what the range is to see if we are on the right band or not. And remember my little transistor radio works perfect in here. Now we have a known good radio on the workbench and I've got the meter hooked up to the small capacitor again, the oscillator variable capacitor. And we're going to take a look and see what frequencies okay. it produces. Both radios had just about the same frequencies. But also, did you notice the known good radio didn't pick up any channels either? Okay, that's close enough. Go ahead and turn it up. 8.983, same thing. Okay. Also, remember my little transistor radio works perfect in here. Well, there's got to be something in this room causing the problem. To prove that, we took the known good radio back out to the kitchen and it's working just fine. And then we took the problem radio out in the kitchen and it's also working just fine. So it's now time to find what the problem is with that room. Since Chuck had worked on the radio last, he had gotten a new internet service. And what we found was his internet power supply is causing the problem. And I say that because my transistor radio works fine. So the problem has got to be in the power. And of course, all the plugs are on the same branch of power in that room. And when we unplug the or turn off the internet, everything is fine.
Thanks for watching.